Hello YouTube, it's Monica with Show Me Crafty. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I just wanted to come on real quick and answer a viewer question. Um, I think this was covered in some of my earlier videos, um, but you know, it's been a while since those were shot, so, so I understand the question. Um, the question was, why do I use a program like Shortcuts A Lot or Inkscape or Corel Draw or any of the others to prepare a rhinestone template before I take it into Design Space to cut out with my Cricut Explorer. Um, and I tried explaining it in a written response to her, but I think it just makes a lot more sense to just show you. So I'm going to use Shortcuts a lot um, for the explanation. And let's get started. So we're going to use our familiar Scattered Heart rhinestone template. So I'm going to import that SVG that I got from the rhinestone world into shortcuts. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get rid of this window. So here's how it looks when it pops up in shortcuts a lot. And you'll recall that I get rid of this part now, which is the design. And then I knock the design out of these yellow template layers and that's what I import into Design Space to cut out with the Cricut. Um, let me ungroup these. I don't know why it moved it like that, but anyway, I'm going to ungroup it and show you the reason that I do it this way is because I can select the template portion, which is that yellow box, and it'll tell me how big it is. Um, that way, I know if I import it and change it to this size, the whole sizes for my rhinestones will be correct. So that's the reason why I do it this way. Now let me show you what happens when you bring it straight into Design Space. Go to Design Space, go to Upload Image, Upload Image. Come on, Design Space. We don't have all Saturday. Well, we do have all Saturday, but not for this project. Anyway, then I go to Browse. And I want that same template that I got from the Rhinestone World. Okay, I'm going to save it. Now see in this view it looks, you know, it looks fine. You can tell <clears throat> that the image is coming in and it looks appropriate. The problem is going to be the size and the speed at which you can um, handle, you know, prepare the template to cut it and then cut it out. So I've told it to insert this image into my project. And just ignore that recover web page thing. Import process may take a few minutes to complete. I know. <laughs> so if you're doing it this way, you're going to have to have a lot of patience. Okay, you guys, so I'm really not going to torture you and leave this much video footage of how long this is actually going to take. So I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is. It's come in. This, you see all of this here? This is the very first reason that I don't do it this way. 
looking at all of this like this makes me want to throw myself out of a window. Um, I'm going to zoom out. So this is at 50%. We still don't see it all. 33%. Right about 25% we see it all. Okay. Um, problem is... Let's go up here. Okay, so I can actually see it. Um, I'm going to ungroup it. I really can't tell. It should all be grouped, but the ungroup, uh, group and ungroup selections are not available to me right now. It may still be thinking and working on it. Yeah, it is. It is. So it's it's not done with it insert image process yet. Okay, looks like that's going to take a while, so we'll, we'll take another break. Okay, I think we're ready to go, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. <sighs> la, 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 la. Okay, so now, okay, just ignore that. Ungroup it. And let's just select one of the yellow template boxes to see what size what size it is. It's thinking about it, it's recovering, blah blah blah. Just give it a minute or two or three or thirty. I wonder. Okay, you guys, so uh, I think it may have stopped thinking about it now, I think. Not sure. Oh, it may have. Okay, so I'll click the template bo box that actually has the rhinestone portion on it. Come on, please. Okay. I don't know what it did then. I don't know why it did that. This is just not exciting me at all. This is already starting to frustrate me. And I'm saying starting to frustrate me. I'm already frustrated by it. Um hence I don't do it this way now how much all this frustration that I'm having has to do with design space itself versus what might be going on with my internet connection I don't know but you know I kinda think that my internet connection doesn't run bad all the time um, but every time I have tried to just do this by importing this template straight into design space I've run into these issues where it's got to stop you know every time I try to do something so um, again I do not do it this way I do it the way I show you in my videos but there was a question so I wanted to make sure you understood why 
and it's still thinking. It's still thinking. Okay, so at any rate, um, I can't tell because it's not letting me select uh, the yellow template portion yet. So I can't tell if those are the correct size or not. Even if they are, there we go, even if it is the correct size, the next problem we're going to have is that we want to knock out those, you know, the, the holes for the rhinestone design. We want to knock it out of that template. And so when you're selecting it, you're going to have to be able to select all of these little holes that represent the rhinestones. You're going to have to be able to group all of those together, um, turn them into a, I think you're going to have to attach them, uh, attach them and then to be in order to be able to knock it out of that template, that's going to take time because every time you try to do something with it, bringing the file in this way, Every time, at least in my experience, every time it's going to take time to think about it. It may pop up the, you know, recover page notification. It's going to take a long time, or at least it is for me. Now, if you're out there doing this and you're like, "Woo!" it came in like a flash into the design space and I was immediately able to do what I needed to do to it to cut it out. Good for you. I hope it works that way for you. If it does, that's fabulous. It doesn't work that way for me, and I'm very frustrated. Um, as you can see, it finally let me see what size it is. Now, this isn't that whole group of objects. This isn't the measurement for that. This is the measurement for this yellow box, the template layer of the rhinestone template, um, you know, the template portion. That's the measurement. It came in at 67.87 inches by 64.27 inches when the correct measurement is 8.259 by 7.822 inches. So if you already know what the correct measurements are, um, then I guess you wouldn't have to bother with using shortcuts a lot or Inkscape or another outside program before you bring it into design space, but you're still going to have the issue of okay, I got to group all of these um, and then I got to knock it out of here. And you know, um, it, it's just too much, it's too much for me to go through, so I don't do it that way. But for kicks, let's see how long it will take me to do it but you know it's gonna take forever y'all I, I think I think you get my drift um, I think you understand what I mean by it now if I were to hide this layer it's even gonna take a long time for me to hide the layer so anything I'm gonna try to do right now like I said it's gonna stop me it's going to stop and it's going to think about it and at every single little step it's just going to take too long so that's why I don't do it this way so while I would love to go through and show you guys you know how to do it here and I think in the very first video I did do something like that because that was when I was still importing just this portion of the design and I had gotten rid of these little template layers and so once I got it into design space I guess I basically created another box and um, did a knockout effect but it took forever it took forever it's taking forever now it took us forever just to find out <clears throat> that this template box is 67.87 inches wide so I think I'm going to end on that note here we go, recover web page. I think I'm going to end on that note because it's it's just entirely too frustrating. Um, hope I hope that the viewer um, found this explanation helpful and maybe a little more helpful than the written explanation. Um, if you guys have any other questions, just you know, hit me up, let me know. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye bye.